Oh my God, it's just an absolutely gorgeous winter day in New Zealand. We just made a last minute decision. We are in Pahia and we are gonna go out on the water. Sailing our first ever small boat by ourselves. I'm actually- I'm, I'm nervous. I'm, yeah, I'm nervous. It's I'm funny, nervous. my heart's kind of pumping. It's like, I'm gonna fall. I think I'm gonna fall in. That's right. We've sailed almost halfway around the world over the past several years and have never sailed a small boat. That's because we were those crazy people that bought a boat and then learned how to sail it. <laughs> this book talks about heaving too, tells you exactly how to do it, but it doesn't tell you how to get out of it. Not exactly the order we'd recommend, but that's how we started. And now we're in the process of building our dream boat, a 44-foot hybrid electric performance catamaran. And we need to pick a tiny boat for our big boat, AKA a dinghy. And for ocean crossing world cruisers like us, our dinghy is our car. It's our daily commuter and sometimes full on water taxi service. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, and eight. <laughs> so we've been exploring all our options for both the dinghy and the means of propulsion, which is how we've ended up here, about to go on our very first sailing dinghy. You left me with a heavy one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> But this isn't just any sailing dinghy. This is brand spanking new. A fresh design dreamed up by a couple of cruisers who circumnavigated and took scrupulous notes on every well-designed small boat they came across. Because while they still own and love sailing their big boat Moonwalker, they hated their inflatable dinghy. How are you, mate? Beautiful day, Davey! Oh my god, look at this place. Yeah, feel free to go for one. Man, a dream. How spectacular is that? I uh, mean, <laughs> it is, it's supposed to be winter. It feels like a spring day. Golly, we lucked out. I am just beside myself right now. Almost nice enough to jump in. <laughs> I might be pushing it. That water is brisk, to say the least. Oh. Okay, well, we've been soaking it in, so we haven't bothered to introduce you to everybody or show you around much, so we'll do that, and then... I'm a little sad I didn't bring my bathing suit. Oh. The reason that we're here today is these lovely people, which i they're a dead giveaway by the t-shirts. <laughs> OC Tenders, so we got Russ and Crane, but you tell us about you. This is Ilya. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I'm Karin, and this is Brisa. I'm saying in the Portuguese way, because I'm from Brazil. Russell as well, so that's an introduction for the family. We are budget cruisers. We bought our $4,000 inflatable and set off on the big adventure. We were in the middle of nowhere and, and this particular vessel was letting us down. And that's when uh, the dream started. And then luckily we had seven years of cruising without being able to pick up the tools. So we had seven years of thinking about it and talking to other cruisers and looking at other cruisers' pictures of what they thought a good dinghy would be, keeping in mind that no tender is the perfect tender, but how many good ideas can we put into one? So that's sort of where we are today. And then you make your regular dinghy and now you've turned it into a sailing dinghy. That was always a dream. It always had oh, really? to be, yeah, it always had to be a good looking idea. sailing boat. It had yeah. to be uh, you know, reasonably environmentally friendly and be able to sail it around. It had to look good and it had to perform well, so... And it only took you eight years. Overnight success, <laughs> Nikki. Overnight, look at those lucky guys. Overnight. And now you've got your girls? Yeah, we found out we were pregnant with Bree in South Africa. She spent the first three years on board and then we came home and had Elia. But this is the boss. 
This is the boss, I know it. And it's been quite the journey for all of us. We are really, really enjoying. We enjoy meeting all of our clients and I get to talk to them. Russell gets to build the tenders. <laughs> so it's a very much a 50-50 equation here. There's a huge team effort. It's so much bigger than just Russell and I and the girls and you'll get to see a bit more of that very soon. And girls, are you gonna go sailing today? Maybe. Maybe. Or are you gonna go <laughs> swimming? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I will not be joining you for the swimming, uh, but I will watch you shiver as you come up, but I will definitely join you for the sailing. <laughs> there you go. Let's introduce you to our lovely hosts here on the boat. I'm Trevor. Hey, Trevor. And, and I'm Jill. Jill. We've been living on the lovely Phoenix now for just over four years. In the beautiful Bay of Islands. Yeah, still enjoying it immensely. You've been a sailor for a very long time. Originally, we're the owners of yeah, Moonwalker. Yeah. Exactly. Which was Russ and Corinne's boat. Exactly. Which is a Malcolm Tennant design? Yeah. It is, and still have the pleasure of sailing on it sometimes, <laughs> which is great after all these years. Yeah. Corinne did her first offshore passage on yeah. Moonwalker with us up to um, really? Vanuatu. And then on the return back, they were waiting for us at the dock and bought the boat from us. Yeah. Oh, right then and there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. That's how you sell a boat. <laughs> and we're still the best of friends. Yeah. <laughs> boat's a bit wobbly so I'll put the centerboard and stuff in. Mate, this was a real mission to get this. How do you turn a powerboat that can do 20 knots into a sailboat with, you know, that's the problem with small sailing dinghies, when you're towing them or motoring them, the water's always just yeah. fountaining up the case. So uh, this took tons of time to figure out. So it's top secret. Ooh. You ain't allowed to film this, brother. <laughs> I'll do it like this. Uh, yeah, do it like yeah. that. <laughs> this was the rudder off my 32 foot catamaran we had a spare one so i'm like oh it's roughly the right shape uh we've improved it since then but in the water put it down the hole you know that stables it up already so when you're yeah. your regular line lining gudgeon and pintles up is always a pain in the ass with a small uh with a small boat so we've done the engineering down so all it is is just uh some wing nuts go through the back of the train somewhere man. cool Find that through here. Hello. Hello. How are you? Yeah, good. What are the winds doing? Buying a dinghy? Yeah, yeah. mate. Oh, they, they want to go sailing. It's our first time to ever be on a small sailboat, so it should be interesting. You better get yeah. your camera out. Oh, mate, is that your new boat? That's the new one, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. just, it looks beautiful, mate. Good on you. It doesn't have too many scratches on it. No, no. So we just put everything on soft loops so we don't need shackles. Yeah. I tried not to add too many parts to it, so I've got good. There, there you go, Jace, look at that. Sweet. Agricultural, <laughs> that's fine. We used to have the sail and it had a sock, which is okay when you've got the four deck of a catamaran, but you know, when you want to pull up, sail up to your mate's boat and pull it down and have coffee, you still had the sail flapping around, it was just a pain, so uh, we put a track on it. Which signature go fast racing stripes. Yes. Thanks, it faster. thanks Team New Zealand. Awesome, mate. Sort of there. Oh, we'll keep this pretty simple as well. That just has a loop there. Lunch is ready. Okay, lunch is done. ready. And then we can go sail because the wind's coming up. So it's just a little like that. You already want to take off. Here's our reef point there, Joe. Oh, yeah. Takes a couple of meters out of it. Bit of bang. Oh baby. You getting excited? I'm getting nervous. <laughs> he said they have two balers in case we flip it. Three so balers and a sponge. Hey, the key is once it flips, get to the center board because basically the boat will flip, it'll fall onto its side, and because it's got quite a side deck, the water it'll just sit on its side. Yeah until it goes right upside down and then that's when you're starting to get water in and when, it, when it's upside down you, when you rewrite it it's got to be about 40 litres in it so it's a bit of bailing yeah. it's not sinking but it's you know it's an open boat yeah. the next version's have got a little horn cleat right here but at the moment we just make it look pretty Sunnies. Yeah, she's risky? not going to tip out. She'll be fine. Yeah, she'll be right. She'll, she'll be right. right. Yeah. Basically, you're going to start off and you're going to sit right here like that. And you've got the 
got the main thing in your hand there like that, and you've got the tiller here like this. Okay. Okay. And you're sailing along. That's it. That's and it. And you're going to sail out that way. Good luck, honey. Yeah, thank you. And I have I have no responsibility, so if I if I wreck it, if I put it on the rocks, I flip it over, no matter what, at the end of the day, it's all Russ's fault. It's exactly. all my fault. Yeah. yeah. Hold it like a microphone. Oh, That's it. Like Good. Yeah, you're singing now. I sold my big boat, so I had to get a little one. Yeah. yeah. How's it, Rick? With lunch. <laughs> How you doing? Good. Did you catch anything? Hey, Russell. Uh, yeah, got a few. Good. We'll be over shortly. That's it. And sail up behind the back of that blue boat. There you go. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Sheet on a bit, Nikki. Sheet on. That's it. That's it. I want you to tack around, so push the tiller away from you and get down the floor. Tack around. Push the tiller away. That's it. We probably should have started with this. Yeah. I mean, like, it's in our sailing career. Yeah. <laughs> really the perfect boat for it. What do you reckon we got? Like, five knots of breeze? Not, no. Not even. Are you joking? Maybe, like, two? Football coming now. Well, we expected a lot more wind that just never showed up. So much for all that hype about being nervous and capsizing, but we'll take it because this is the most chill sailing experience I have ever had. 100% relaxing. Which I think is the appeal of a lightweight convertible boat like this. One great thing about being the cameraman is I was actually a little bit nervous. So she has to go first. <laughs> so now I'm like, okay, okay, it doesn't look that crazy. <laughs> Man overboard! <laughs> no! But you can just cruise around all day and do this. You can yeah. go for miles, Nikki. Like I go, sometimes we go for a couple of hours. Just... That's so cruisy. Feel it, Nikki. Feel it. That D through the D. Oh, yeah, you'll be right. That's it. Yeah. Okay, do I push them off? Yeah, push them. Microphone. And turn away. Like... Shoot in the other hand. Okay. You'll get the hang of it. Take around, Joe. Okay. Take around. Push. Main side. Sheet on, sheet on. Just sit a little bit further forward, Jason. Just like sailing school. Okay, you see that like the rudder it looks really good. And so you didn't have to make any modifications to the shape of the hull or anything? That was the design right from the start. Is make it, it has to work like a power boat, but it has to have a modern sailboat plan shape. It had to work, it had to plane. Do you sail it by yourself, Elliot? Yeah. yeah. Eight-year-old can out sail me. That's that's probably the case. You've done pretty nicely. <laughs> You've done pretty nicely. <laughs> what do you think? You can probably do better. Can't you? Yeah, probably. Uh, I'm probably <laughs> Keep an eye on your breeze on the water.
Tack around, Jace. Tack around. This is the most sort of breeze through here. Well, that's a jive, but you could call it a tack if you wanted to. Oh, sorry. There you go. Feel it, Alan. Feel it. Look at those pieces of wool on your sail. Make sure they're flowing together. See that? There you go. That's better. Me. I trust you, mate. Somebody grab me! Oh my God! <laughs> Beautiful, mate. Oh, nice. That was a joy. Holy cow! Got a couple of good puffs there. Nice. <laughs> so now Russ is going to show us how it's really done. We should have seen the demo first, first but, you know. <laughs> but I guess then we might have really been intimidated. Yeah. So. Mine. Yep. Swap me the life jacket out, mate. But we need to get your life jacket out of that one there. Oh, yeah. There you go. She is showing us up. Look at that. The ability to stow a quick to rig sail unlocks a lot of potential to explore in a whole new way. Plus, it opens a huge opportunity to teach newbies and kids how to sail, which is a guaranteed way to make new friends. Looking good. Work it, Ilya. Work it. <laughs> Mate, I'm just going to take the main sheet off, release the bang a little bit, get it out of the way. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah. You just needed to do the here hold my beer right before that. Yeah. Oh. Just like that, the sun is setting and we're off again. So like family. Yeah. Oh, it is. Instant. And summer yeah. is so nice, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's so nice. It's mean, crazy. It's our last couple days. It's our last hurrah on the water. <gasps> what? Oh, it's kind of sad. Are there dolphins? Yeah. Right there. Dolphins. Hey, welcome to Sunu Zealand. Now they're saying goodbye. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> oh, it's huge! Hello! Oh, that might have been it. That might have been it. Oh, Man, oh. she was big. I didn't even get a good shot. Me either. Oh, well, we saw it. You just didn't get to see it. Sorry. See you guys. Bye. Thank you so much. Oh, yes. oh man, what a day. Yes. What a day. What a day. Now we're going to freeze her mutt off. Man, you look oh, real good. Oh, you've got you've yeah. got the first <laughs> <laughs> Captain Cook. Do you ever find your parents embarrassing? Yeah. <laughs> Are you embarrassed? Ow. Uh, probably, yes. Captain Cook. Oh, my. As if our search for the perfect dinghy wasn't hard enough, I feel like the decision just got more complicated. If we go for the sailing version of the OC Tender, that means we couldn't go for the insanely fast and fun electric jet version we tested, which you can watch here if you missed it. Let us know what you think, and we'll see you next week.